So just a small problem, it appears that my starter motor's gone. So, you know, yay! Uh, <laughs> honestly, sometimes you can't make this stuff up. So, um, so yeah, starter motor is gone. Um, the van was outside for a brief amount of time and we could bump start it. So it literally, everything runs fine. It is just that it won't start under its own steam until randomly it feels like doing it. But it's a about a 20 to 1 ratio of it starting on its own and it not starting on its own. So today, instead of going and getting all the wood and all of this stuff, um, we will be taking the starter motor off, heading out to the local um, Euro car parts and swapping it out for one that works. One starter motor. I, I did the last, I helped by, by, <laughs> by crawling underneath the van and holding it up while he took the last bolt out. <laughs> the old important. Absolutely. Teamwork, don't yeah, you know? That's it. Yeah. yeah. So yes, so this is coming with us. Um, Euro car parts will then sell this on to somebody else who will remanufacture it and sell it on as a reconditioned part. I love how excited he gets about all these little things. I mean, it's very cool. Um, and it's cool sharing a workshop with somebody who has so many um, gadgets and gizmos and things to generally make my life easier with, with everything. Apart from having the biggest gadget and gizmo. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, it's nice. Even though I'd, ra I'd rather not be taking the starter motor off and having to pay for a new one. Um, it's nice to actually be getting some or feeling well enough to actually be tinkering with vans again because we've just both been ridiculously yeah. rotten. Yeah. And as you can probably hear, we're still not there. Stuffly, stuffly. Yeah. Oh, one sparkly, sparkly new starter motor. So, yeah, I'm going to go and fit it and, um, and then see if my van starts. So... This is something we could have probably done without today, to be honest with you, because we've got lots of things to do. But yeah, it's a non-starter. Uh. So, literally, straight in the door. <laughs> and straight under the van. Um, bless him. Is it three bolts, three cables? Um, um, check you out with how easy it is to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Check yeah, you out. Seconds. Honestly, it's so easy. How easy it trips off the tongue. Anybody could do it. Mm. All right. So that one back. Uh, tighten that up like that. What you do without getting your hands dirty? Look, I fitted a starter motor and everything all by myself. So proud of you, babe. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Thank very you. welcome. So, it fits well. I'm, I'm impressed with the fit. It looks good with the carpet. I am unsure whether I should have gone black or with the wheat. I think the wheat's nicer because it's going to be lighter on the top. I don't know. If I don't like it, I'll unscrew the eight screws I'm about to put in and then I'll cover it in black. And there we have it. It's too dark to use the Osmo, unfortunately. Um, even with all the lights on, it wasn't picking it up. Quite impressed with my handiwork. That looks nice and neat. What do you think? It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it looks very um, professionally finished and stuff. Oh, it looks so much better than uh, what was there before, doesn't yeah. it? So yes, very nice. I shall pop some caps in it does. <clears throat> Still unsure whether I should have it black to match in. I don't know. <laughs> my back's still too bad to be on a ladder. So John's been very kind and clean in my roof for me. I've got the, I'm being chief holder of things. Um, well, we're gonna clean my van because it is utterly filthy. Um, I've been out for the weekend um, had to go back over Manchester way so uh, we've decided not to do any bits on the van it's been a bit of a gap in us doing things both of us doing things to be honest not quite feeling it and you know if you're not feeling it you're just going to do it wrong and you're going to hate it and you're going to want to do it again so we've been in a bit of a 
funk, a bit of a meh funk. Um, but hopefully, now we've got a very clear span of time where we don't have to be in other places, we're going to get cracking again. So I've dug out a tabletop, <laughs> like you do. Um, I have just literally maybe slightly butchered the sides with the jigsaw. I'm going to give it a sand down. Just I need to put it in place because I do need to do some editing. And we're finding that even heating the little office here takes ages. So I've got the heater in the van, the van's in the workshop. So if I can get that table assembled and put down and then I'll, I just have to lift it and then put it down again. When I put the lino on the step, because obviously I've not done that yet. So I'm happy to be getting a table. Well... I'm sat at a table in my van. So this literally, I do not know why I didn't do this sooner. This has made it so I can actually work properly from the van instead of working from the bed. It's new workshop tool day. It's not actually new, it's been here the whole time. But we've just literally been using this bench here for storing shit on. Because why wouldn't you? And now we're like, oh, look, we can have lovely, nice, perpendicular, straight cuts on all of the wood. Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Right, so we're all taped up and ready to go. We have measured this. How many times? Many. 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 This is as many as we needed to, to many. work out that it needed adjustments before we cut. Yes. So we did some fettling. And now that is spot on. Yeah, all I need to do now is just check that they are right angles. Yes, check the right angles. Because right. a right angle is not a wrong angle. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hiya. We're doing a dry fit. So we're actually putting the window in. And then that's all the fixings and the internal frame. And we're just going to see how it sits. Right, so I had to go outside and um, and hold the window while John did these because I had no idea um, how to install them. And now I've just had to do another take because of my dirty camera lens. And John did his usual thing and whenever you say something. That's because you said you went round the outside and I went round the outside, round the outside. All Couple the time. Of girls go round the outside. And, and if it's not just that, it's you singing the A-Team theme tune the entire time. I have all morning. Because it morning. does feel like we're doing... <laughs> it just feels like, you know, it's all... Sort of, yeah. We're building stuff like the A-Team. And as you don't need to see it all again, we're doing exactly the same on this side. Well, well, well. What do we have here? We've got 350 watts of solar. Yeah, that's snug. See, and that is why I went for that Max fan yeah. <laughs> rather than the other one. And that is, uh, I can't see right over there, but that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty snug up to there too, isn't it? Yeah, and then we've got our solar wires there. Yeah. And here's something we thought of earlier. <laughs> awesome. So we just need to put the uh, brackets down either side. It's a really big day for Sweet today because not only windows and solar, solar in two different ways. Good morning. Well, after the epic day of yesterday, today we are getting to play with new toys, namely this new workbench we've made ourselves and that saw the which is a something saw that works with that something track there right so as this one is a reasonable fit it's a good fit um and we checked it on the other door we're just literally using it as a template. So we've got the other door that's needed here and literally just traced all around it. I want to lift it off. So 
So now we just know what we have to cut again. And then we'll have two. And then at this point, you can do the solar <laughs> when I take like five hours to do the carpeting. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Good, good. First. Well, that looks a bit of all right, doesn't it? Nicely notched in. Little bits of sawdust on I'm going to clean off. I just have to wait for John to be finished on the roof before I can fit it, but I'll probably need his help, to be honest with you, to make sure it's in the right place. So I think I will probably just get straight on and do that one. So I'm fitting my floor and preview. I got carried away. So I've taken my step to pieces and then tucked the floor in under it, which looks amazing. So that's the bit I've just done over there. And then I've got the black trim, which just tidies that up nicely. It's looking good. I just literally need furniture everywhere. But I'm getting there. So exciting. This is going in here, just there. That will not be falling over. That will be there with my water and my sink. Beautiful. And whatever you do, folks, don't just kind of like draw some lines around the surface and cut a hole out. Even if you have four people checking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay! Oh, hot water. And you can hear it. It's going. Out through there. And. Oh. Is it in the bucket? It's hitting the bucket now, yes. Hey. There we go. Good morning. So, today, as you can see, as well as all my messy bed, we've got a cupboard, which is exciting. What could be this big? And there'll be four of them. And a big flat bit that goes at the bottom. We're making a drawer. Never made a draw ever. Uh. So I am so excited. Are you ready? Let me show you something. Oh, oh, oh. oh I've not seen not seen my little baby for such a long time so <laughs> see what i did there i hope you enjoyed this new styley little catch-up um i've decided to do a little bit of a different style of videos from now on not laboring any points and just showing you what i'm doing it's not a build series really it's just me making my new home so the only thing left to show you after this is my coffee tower with the power so i'm really looking forward to showing you this one in the next video but until then, take care guys, and hopefully I will see you very soon. Bye!